Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippie dippy painter man coming at you once again from beautiful Key Largo, Florida. I hope you're doing fine and dandy on this Sunday afternoon for me. And uh, evening and morning, who knows for you. Hope you've seen everyone before us. Welcome to the wonderful Fluid Art Express. We have these every Sunday. I hope you'll come back and see us next Sunday too. Tell all your friends about us. And I hope you've seen everyone before me. If you haven't seen everybody before me, please do go back and look in the description of this video and you will find a play all link where you can go ahead and see them all. Once again, or for the first time. Please subscribe to all of them, like them all, they're worth it. And now without further ado, let's get on to my little addition to today's Art Expose. We're going to be working on a six inch tile today. It's a hexagon six inch tile. Let's put that in the center. Brush off all the nasties. Now I'm going to go ahead, I had a, a project I was working on that had happy medium paint ready to pour on it. Uh, the pearl new gold, the metallic peacock blue, and the parakeet colors. Here's the pearl new gold. Here is the uh, metallic pearl and here is the parakeet. And we're going to go ahead and use those in this if it works out. Go ahead and use this beautiful eye candy color which is Scarlet from the Opulent series. It is absolutely glowing red. I went and mixed that up today using the uh, Tri-Art Liquid Glass. This is what I used to mix up. As a base coat, we're going to be using a uh, mixture of Fancy Black by Arte Arteza and uh, some lamp black from Creative Inspirations that I've got here. And I also have some other colors in there because it was used. I scraped that up from some other stuff. So, I'll put a little bit of this in here. Right here in the center. By the way, I'm working on my brand new low profile glass Lazy Susan that I got a hold of. I saw other artists using it, namely Venom and uh, Creative Creations by Christie, and I thought it looked cool. And I thought maybe that might be one of the reasons I was having such problems with going ahead and um, leveling things out and then them getting unleveled because they were bouncing around while I was trying to spin that super high up Lazy Susan. All right, let's try a little Sherwin-Williams paint instead. Let's go ahead and use a Anchors Away Blue on this today. Uh, squeeze us some on there. Gonna need us some uh, AC. I believe this is a Payne's Gray. I think this is going to be the one I'm going to use. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this awesome flow troll to it because it's thickened up on me. Because that's been sitting for a few days. A little bit of that in there. Stir that up. Now that should work. Alright, let's put some colors in there and see if this works out. I'm going to put this metallic blue on the bottom. And we're going to put some gold. And then we'll put some green. And then we'll put some of this red. And let's put some of this in the middle. And we'll get my buddy Franco out here. Franco is George's cousin. We try to get him out and do a little blowing every now and again. All right, let's go ahead and start this from up here. And we're gonna use the new method that I have just learned from my buddy Darren at Venom Fluid Arts. I'm going to go up and go straight down. I'm going to float it up and down. And then I'm going to go out to the side. Float up and down. Out to the side. Let's 
Let's let that sit there for a minute and develop, see what we get. I'm gonna take our uh, little straw here and go straight down on this area right here. Yeah, there. There we go, let that develop a bit. Maybe right in here. Looks like there's some more. I don't know if this is, well, that looks like that might be some there too. Well, that worked when I blew down at that time. Well, I didn't use any of the right paints this time because I was using leftover paints from something else. But I did use the blower method that I just learned from my buddy Venom, and I think that did pretty good at getting the uh, cells working. Looky there. Looky, looky there. Now I do have too much paint on here, which is absolutely <laughs> obvious, and hopefully I won't blow out all of my cells when I start spinning. Because that's sexy as can be. Before spin, we will see what it looks like after spin. You know, I'm actually gonna put uh, uh, put a little bit of this red right here, and we're gonna put a little bit of this. Uh, what else? I'm not gonna put anything else. I'm going to put some of this cell activator on top of it. And let's blow it on that and see if we can work that out. See if we get any of that. Let it work for a minute. Maybe it'll get some cells in there. I thought it might. Well, we'll let that let that rest for a second. See if it develops what it develops into. Give it a gentle spin. Well, looks like most of my stuff I'm getting, my actual cells I'm getting, is going to be on the blue side. So we're going to go ahead and tilt towards the red side there. Squeeze that off of here. Oh yeah, I am digging what is happening here. I don't know if you can see it in the thing up there, but I like the way these are spinning. Stick us a glue stick and wipe the outsides of this off away from there. Let's spin her some more. Let's use a. I can never remember what you call these things. Let's use one of these and do some modification. A little bit of modification goes a long ways.
Now we run it around there a little bit and looked at it and thought we did something. Let's see what we did. Let's spin it a little more. Yes, man, that's beautiful. I think that came out absolutely gorgeous. It'd be nice if there was something breaking this up in between there, but you know what? I kind of like it the way it is. I'm good to go with that. That is good to go, man. I like it. I like it. So that is what happens when you use completely the wrong kind of paint and do it in completely the wrong kind of way and you come up with this. So uh, I got to say, I, I love these in here. I love this. I, you know, I, 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 that's beautiful. I'm in. Okay, so that's our first one for today. Let me see if I can lift it up without dropping it. There we go. Let you see that. Can you see it there? That is so pretty. All right. All right, we're going to set that to the side and we will come back for number two. It's good to go. All right, on the secondary part of this, what we're going to be using is Curin Violet, Pacific Blue, Pacific Blue, Kabuki Gold. And Kabuki is a ultra shift color that shifts between, I know it shifts between gold and green. I'm not sure what the third color is. And we're gonna put some more of that gorgeous scarlet I just got. But that's gonna be in two different ones, so there you go. And we're gonna continue using this Payne's Gray and Aussie Flow Trawl. Sell activator. Now this first one, I'm going to go ahead and use a black base paint, black Sherwin Williams. And hopefully we won't get no gooeys on that. It feels pretty liquidy. I will check it before we go on. And I got to mix up these colors right quick, and I'll be back with you in a jiffy. are all stirred up now and ready to go. I'm going to change my mind. Instead of using this black, I don't know why I decided to use black in the first place, I'm going to use this Sherwin-Williams white. All right, let's start our second bloom of the day. And we'll start off with uh, on this one. I believe we'll start off with the um, the Sorin Violet on the bottom there. We run this one more run around here. All righty. And then on top of that, I think we'll go with the Kabuki Ultra Shift. Okay, don't want to do a lot of that, don't want to run it out. And we will do, I believe, on this one, um, let's do the red on this one, that beautiful opulent scarlet red. Right down. All right. Now let's get us some Payne's Gray Activator. Now we mix our activator somewhere around two or three to one uh, Aussie Flow Troll to Amsterdam paint. This here is a Payne's Gray mixture. Go ahead and put it in there. And again, we're gonna do the Venom method of blowing that I just learned from him. He showed me the other day in a video on how to do this. You turn it on, let's turn off Franco on, 
and we'll start right in the center there, get right down the center, and we're going to go down, I'm going to bounce. For some reason that wouldn't go anywhere when I tried that bouncy up and down. It worked on the first one. I'm going to blow down on these places where it didn't activate. I think it's because the uh, white paint was a little thicker than it normally is. It wouldn't spread well. The old Sherwood Williams there. I'm going to may have to thin that up a little bit before I do the next one. I don't know. I know I don't want to act right. But I do have some killer cells in different places. Let's let that set for a second. Let it settle. Right, I don't want to spin that just a little bit first. Let it thin her out a little bit. Well, it's giving us a hard time. Doesn't want to move. That back, that base paint was too thick. That's what it was. But the colors are beautiful. There you go. Get that to move a little bit. I'm going to spin her again. See what we can do. First of all, let's get her. Let's see if we can separate them out. All right, let's spin that around. Hold on, I'm gonna hold on to Dr. the Middle first, and let's spin that around. Wow, I can dig that. That is definitely cool. I can definitely dig it. Wish I didn't have quite so much white there, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Let's try and pull a little bit of this down in it though. It may be here too. There we go. Guys, that is a lovely bloom. I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna lift this up so we can look at it before I put it over there. See if I can get it all from one side here. Well, that's not wanting to go under it, is it? Oh, there we go. There we are. What do you think of that? I think that came out pretty. try and get it out of that. That's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on this cup and then we'll come back and do one more. We're back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this paint, this Sherwin-Williams white. Go ahead and put a little bit in a cup and mix that up with some GAC 800 and see if we can thin it up a little bit because I think it's just a wee bit too thick. So can we make that a little thinner because God that was thick last time. Way too thick. Eh. Maybe that'll work. I don't want to go too thin on it, so let's go ahead and stick with that. I'm digging my new low profile, profile glass spinner here. Let's start with the blue on this one. This beautiful Pacific blue from Eye Candy. Once again, I am an Eye Candy affiliate, spelled with an A, affiliate. And uh, if you want to get some of these gorgeous colors for yourself, please do go to my description and you will find 
a coupon for 10% off. So you can get 10% off on the eye candy colors of your dreams. Like beautiful Pacific Blue. Or from the Opulent Color Series, which is even more gorgeous, this incredible Scarlet Red. I'm going to put down on top of that. Heck, let's put them all in here this time. Let's put a little bit of this beautiful Kabuki. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that one more time. That ultra shipped Kabuki. Oh my goodness. Soaring Violet. Selectivator. Lift it up so you can see it. Right over here and get underneath that. There we go. There you go. Look how beautiful. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. Yes. If you, if you liked what you saw today, please do hit the like button. Because the likes are good for my channel and I appreciate it. But besides, we want to know how you feel about it, man. All right. And if you are not a part of the Hippie Hippie family yet, we'd sure like you to be part of it. You know, come on in, sit down, kick your feet up, stay a while, man. Check us out. So please do subscribe. And if you'd like to know when I'm going to do some more weirdo hippie stuff, then hit that bell, will you? Now when you hit that bell, if you just do that and walk away, then YouTube gets to decide what you get to watch. They have a little algorithm of some sort that decides what to have pop up for you. If you go over to the side of that and you hit that little arrow and bring it down and hit the all button, like you see on your screen right now, then it's gonna tell you every single time the, the hippy dippy put something out there so if you want to see it all hit the all button and until I see you again ladies and gentlemen boys and girls same black time same black channel peace out